For the first time, we're seeing the destruction inside a Northwest Kansas school that investigators say was set on fire. Two middle school students now face 15 felony charges each. Cakes Leon Purvis continues our coverage tonight. He joins us live in the studio after talking to the superintendent, Leon. Deb, these are just photos of some of the damage that you can see in this monitor right here behind me. It's the aftermath the fire caused the 98-year-old school building. A 12-year-old and 13-year-old are detained. Tonight we hear from the Rollins County superintendent about what happened. And just to see it in that condition, it's really hard. Seeing the conditions inside Rollins County Junior Senior High School is emotional for the district superintendent. The 98-year-old building holds a lot of memories. We've had a lot of generations of, of people in, in Atwood and Rollins County that have gone through the schools. Superintendent Eric Stoddard sent us these pictures of the damage. You can see the art room is destroyed. The cafeteria has charred debris all over, and the bleachers in the gym are burned. The cost to repair all the damage is still up in the air, but Stoddard says it's extensive. Investigators say on Monday, a 12 and 13 year old started the building fire. 10 firefighters were injured. The kids are being held on 15 felony counts, including terrorism, arson, and battery. Stoddard says despite what happened, the school is still a safe place for students to learn. We have good systems in place um, for kids who need help, for kids who are struggling, and we, we don't plan on any of that going away. The district is working to figure out what will happen when school starts up again in the fall. Well, our community's been awesome. They're, they're stepping up. They, um, we've had churches offer, you know, space. Um, you know, other, other people who own some buildings have offered. We're here for the community, and we're going we're gonna to get through this. And um, we don't know exactly what it'll look like, but we're, we're planning on starting school. August 22nd. We reached out to Rollins County Fire and Rescue to check on the condition of the 10 firefighters. It says they can't comment on the situation. The Rollins County attorney says he doesn't plan to release any more information because it is a juvenile case. Live in studio, Leon Purvis, Kick News on your side. All right, Leon, a lot of damage there, that's for 